Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you for tuning in with Dr. Leisha the Preacher. So, my last video for men, and I forgot the name of it just that quick. Um, oh, I can look down and see maybe and figure it out. But anyway, my last video cut off. So, this is part two. Part two for men. And, um... And the video is basically about stepping into the unknown. Stepping into the unknown, energy shifting. That's from God, of God. There's an energy shifting from that male dominant. Y, X chromosome, male energy. There's a divine, godly, trigger-driven shift going on to the feminine, X, X chromosome, female energy. And so the angel message in video one, before it turned off, was men, step into the unknown. <laughs> you know, step into the unknown. You all are used to your privilege of dominance. You're used to your privilege of money, jobs, land ownership. You're used to it. You're used to being the lead, having the final say, making the final decision. Well, there's a shift going on. There's a shift. And you're required to step into the unknown. But how and why? It says curiosity keeps us heading down new paths. So take a chance. You're going to have to be curious about this shift. You're going to want to have to want to change, <laughs> you know, and, 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 and experience. Female dominance, energy. In major areas of life like religion and politics and, you know, economics, you know, there's a change. In the best way that men can be ahead in this change is to embrace it and to be ahead. To be ahead and to be a, a shifter, you know, because there's a shift and men can be shifters, can help, you know. You know how women have been help meets to men, you know. Well, men can also contribute in shifting energy. Okay, so men are required to have vision. Be able to dream. Be curious. Be curious about what life will be like, if not in your own time, but in the next generation. 
Okay. So I'm talking to men here who are interested in generational wealth and preparing the boys and men in their families for the energy shift coming that we're experiencing now. It's been going on for a little while, but there's still a lot of resistance. But we need men that can appreciate vision and men that can recognize that if they don't have vision, if they don't have vision for their own families, because see, you know, this is about generational wealth. This is about your family keeping wealth, keeping legacy, keeping property, keeping land, keeping money, keeping stocks and bonds and trust and funds and, you know, keeping. It's going to require vision. And if a man himself recognizes that he lacks vision, then he needs a woman that has vision. A woman that has vision, a voice, the two V's. <laughs> I say nowadays a woman not only needs two X's, she needs two V's. A vision and a voice. But with her vision and a voice, she needs men in her life that can add to her momentum. Add to the momentum. Be the shifters in her life. Whether this woman is your mother, your sister, your wife, your daughter, cousin, men. It don't matter who the woman is or the women in your life are. Be the shifters of energy. Be ahead. Make it beneficial for both the men, boys and men in your family and the women alike. We don't want to make the same mistakes that were made under the male dominant system. We have an opportunity under the female dominant system to fix a lot of things. And it's going to take teamwork and cooperation. It's going to take men. Women need men. Children need men to stay ahead of the shifts, of the changes. You know, our whole world, when I say our whole world, I mean our whole family, our whole family's world depends on it. The family's generational wealth depends on it. Depends on men get moving, creating the momentum for vision and change. For the next generation. Quite frankly, I mean, I'm 51, so within the next 20, 30 years, you know, I may be experiencing, you know, some of the stuff that's coming up, you know. I mean, we're again, we're, we're stepping into the unknown. We're doing it together. But this reading is encouraging men to get ahead of it because men still are ahead when it comes to money, land, ownership, business, ownership, things like that. So men, stop hoarding. Stop hoarding the resources. Stop hoarding all the money and land and jobs and stuff. Stop hoarding and start diversifying these um, assets to both 
boys, girls, men and women in your own family, in your own family for generational wealth purposes. Now, is family limited to blood? No. People are adopted into your family. People can be legally written into your family. You know, written agreements hold water. You know, they do. There are better days coming. Brighter days. There's this fiery energy. You know, this energy shift, like I said, it's, it's, it's godly and it's filled with life, life, women, feminine, birthing, birthing new ideas, birthing new generations. So in addition to all of that, <laughs> You know, all about stepping into the unknown. In fact, let me read just, well, okay. In addition to all that, Aries energy and Pisces energy. I like to go this way. Aries energy and Pisces energy. Male beginning and male ending. Right now, we're experiencing, reflecting the beginning of the male dominant era, and we're experiencing the ending, the closing tail end cycle of the male dominant energy that we've all have lived under, as far as we know. There's a shift to the female. We're stepping into the unknown. And Archangel Michael also was drawn. This card was drawn in the first video. And he's here, men. He's here to protect you and give you strength during this shift. It starts in your mind. And then in your attitude, you know, it starts in your unseen world. Your mind is your unseen world, your mind. And then it starts to show in the seen world, in your attitude and behaviors, the things that people can, you know, uh, sense. You know, they can see it, hear it, smell it, you know, whatever. However, it goes down, you know. But let me, um, oh, I don't have my lighter. Uh, mm, mm. Well, this has been 13 minutes. I don't really want to add anything else, but I do want to, uh, oh, read the, um, uh, Step Into the Unknown. I wanted to read the extra little paragraph here on it, okay? We never know what is in the future. I, I, I understand what they're saying. I disagree, but I understand what they're saying. According to the Bible, the Bible is all about prophecy. The Bible has clearly let us know what is coming. Okay, it's already written. There are always many different options to take and decisions to make. Agreed. As you step into the unknown, okay. Let go of worry and anxiety as new experiences are presented. Okay, okay, okay. The angels are encouraging you to set forth on a new journey that will take you to uncharted territories. Oh, 
on that note, Uncharted Territories, let's see, let's pull the next card. The Five of Pentacles. On Uncharted Territories, you know, you go feel alone. Not many men are going to be supportive of women. A lot of men are going to pull away from women. Divorce them. And just use them as sex toys. That's it. They don't want to offer much more. And when that happens, there's no generational wealth building. No generational wealth. So men, it's very important for you to get on board. And not only just get on board, but stay ahead. Stay ahead of the game. Stay ahead of the game. You know, and you're gonna, you're gonna feel like you're alone on this journey. You know, you're gonna feel like you're in the cold and, you know, the, the weight of the world is on you. And, but just know that, you know, the Holy Spirit got you. That this, this shift in energy is God himself. You may even experience some depression, rejection from people because you're deciding to love your woman through the storm. You know, through the shift, through the change, through the separation. You know, through the conflict, you sticking by your woman. You're going to feel alone, you know. Like personal growth and spiritual development to enrich your life. So that you, go, you have angels around you that's going to keep you on track. Learn to become more of a free spirit and work on getting in touch with that which is greater than ourselves. Step into the unknown. God is greater than we are. We need to rely on him. We need to have faith. Gotta have faith. Gotta have faith, men, in God, in your woman. You get to choose which woman. It's your choice what woman is in your life. Choose one that's, that has vision and that has a voice for God, for God, a voice for your family. Your family's wealth. That's what you want. That's what you want. That's what you want. And if you have that in your life, that kind of woman with a vision and a voice, and a woman that, that, that doesn't settle, that doesn't settle, that doesn't settle. <laughs> A woman that don't settle. Let's see what the, a woman that don't settle. She came right on top of my hand. Ha! A woman don't settle. Is a garden. She's like a garden. She keeps on producing. She keeps on giving birth. She keeps thinking. She keeps feeling. She's alive. You know, a woman with a vision and a voice. Now, there are women with voices. 
<laughs> with no vision. And they just, you know, women with voices and no vision are just, but a woman with a vision is like a garden that keeps on giving and feeding. Just feeding you, loving you, you know, pushing the family, adding value, adding value. <laughs> value on multiple levels all throughout your life, all throughout the kid's life, all throughout the grandkids' life. Add value. Women with vision, women with voices, and weave. <laughs> And weave. <laughs> but anyway, so, but yeah, Dr. Leisha the Preacher, please click like, subscribe, and donate so I can get some more weed to um, my cash app, dollar sign, Dr. Dr. Leisha the Preacher, just like on my channel. <laughs> but yeah, a woman with vision and voice. You know, that's female and feminine. You know, that's godly. You know, that adds value. You know. Understands shifting and changing of energy. Knows when to move forward. This is what? Two, four, six, eight. Eight of um spades. Eight of spades. She's full of power. And she's long term. A long term commitment. A woman with a vision, you know she committed to you. She's committed to you. That's a relationship you can bank on. You can bank on it. Yeah, <laughs> yes, and let's see uh, real quick. Oh, I love that Oracle card. That's beautiful. Beautiful Oracle card. Um, let's do the love tarot real quick. Oh, God is so good, guys. He is so good. I'm so thankful. And I just want to share my love with you all. You know, I want to share my, my joy. I also want to share my journey, my story. You know what I'm saying? Um, my ups, my challenges, you know. You know, y'all know I'm separated. And y'all know I live in Florida, you know, and my family is in Michigan, you know, and stuff like that. So y'all know that I have challenges. And that's what a lot of this tarot reading and my ministry come from my experience. My challenges. And um, here's two cards that came out. And, um, but these cards is for you. But, um, but my... My, um, but I still have joy. <laughs> I still have vision. I still have um, purpose and a calling, you know, even if it's different than what I had originally set out to do. I still got it, though. And that's what matters. And that's what matters in your life right now. Is being able to shift and change men to, um, here it is. These cards keep on coming out. King of Swords. This came out the other day. <laughs> King of Swords. King of Swords. So men, you know, mature feminine energy. Youthful feminine energy, both energy, 
whether it's mature, whether it's youthful in your life, you know, both type of energy, feminine energy is of value. Any women in your life right now, that energy protected, you know, um, empower the woman, position them to be able to carry the family generationally. You know what I'm saying? You know, balance it out, the resources, the wealth between the men and women. You got to balance it out now. It's not all about leaving things to your son. You got to leave things to your sons and daughters. And daughters. And nowadays, to your grandkids. Because sometimes your kids credit and stuff is so jacked up now till you might have to go ahead and set up the grandkids. You know. And some parents is jacking up their own kids' credit. It's a mess. It's a mess. So, men in the family, you need to um, be more sensitive and listen to the women in your life and set up the finances and set up the legacies and things together okay because there is this shift and the next generation is going to feel it the greatest you know we're the shifters technically we're the shifters you and I you know as men and women working together we have an opportunity to work together you know so there's a balance of mature and youthful feminine energy that's being empowered throughout the world, throughout the world. But in your individual life, your individual life as a man, be ahead. You know, be ahead of the game. And make sure the mature women and the youthful women the energy in your life is balanced and taken care of and provided for this generation, the next generation. Just because a woman is older in your life don't mean she can't still get it on. <laughs> older women are still useful and they still need to be compensated for the work they put in when they was young. Well, of course the young girls can handle it. <laughs> they can do them flips and tricks in the bed. Yeah, you know. Us young gals, well, us older gals, when we were young, we was holding it down too. <laughs> we was young. <laughs> when we was young, we was holding it down too. And we deserve to be compensated. I was listening to a video, I think it was this morning, on YouTube. And it was a man. And it was a black man. And he mentioned that, you know, men shouldn't have to be responsible to be taking care of old women. And I was like, okay, well, you know what? That's what retirement is for. You know, your employer is offer retirement. You know, hey. I put my time in when I was young. I deserve a retirement too. Okay. Old broads. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, men, you know, balance out the feminine energy in your life. Make sure the women are as, as equally empowered as the men. You know, you can do it in your own life with this energy shifting. Because women are going to be holding it down anyway. Oh, women have been doing it for a minute. But it's going to be a floodgate of it happening. Especially with all these evictions and stuff. Women and men are going to have to start all over. And once these women have to start all over. Do you think they're going to let men come and mess up what they build up? No, they're not. They not. Coronavirus has whew, changed the world. And women, 
you know, whether men appreciate your value at any age, whether you young or old, if men don't appreciate your value, then pff, don't waste your time. Because there are plenty of men out there that don't, they don't limit themselves with age. You know what I'm saying? There are men who appreciate older women just as much as they appreciate the young ones. And when you live in uh, open relationship lifestyles like I do, like polyamorous and, you know, swinging and, um, you know, just different other lifestyles. Not that I do all of them. I'm just saying. I'm just listing some. Um, you know, you get to experience a balance of mature people and younger people. You keep yourself balanced. Like with this suggest, you know, there's a mature woman in the window, me mature energy. And then you got to have youthful energy. Every man, one way or another, got to have some mature female energy and some youthful female energy in his life. And any man that's in a romantic relationship, that's married or whatever, you know, he needs to be focused on her focused on her committed to her yeah be willing to step into the unknown with her because see who got the sword she don't have a sword laying on the ground she is Kneeling on the sword. This sword is her strength. He's the one. Kneeled. You know, all up in her world. You know what I'm saying? He See how he's kneeled. And focused all up in her world. Her vision. <laughs> her vision. <laughs> I'm just saying, let me get off of here because I'm starting to go astray. But, yeah, so, um, but, you know, thank you for tuning in. And um, I pray that this helped men open up their minds a little bit about women, women's femininity, <laughs> you know, our vision, our, you know, our gift of vision, you know. And, um you know, create some balance in your life, you know, um, a balance of mature women and youthful women, you know, until you are a married man, you need to keep yourself balanced in all regards. Okay. Love all women learn to, you know, you don't have to be, y'all know how y'all are. Y'all don't have to be all in love with somebody in order to experience their energy mm -mm. no you you know you ain't gonna marry somebody you know you know that <laughs> so you know again be willing to step into the unknown um and if you're men if you're not in a committed relationship focus on the women in your family right in your family always have an ongoing living trust an ongoing, um, you know, where if you die, then these people will be provided for accordingly. You don't have to be a married to be a married man to set up your sisters and nieces and nephews and cousins and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But of course, if you're a married man, your obligation is to your wife and your your children first then others that's that's just how it works that's how energy shifts <laughs> that's another type of energy shifts <laughs> but all right so again click like subscribe donate to my cash app dollar sign dr leisha the preacher mm, bye bye